Welcome everyone to Joke Tech Broadcast. This is actually going to be a couple quick videos on actually choosing a graphics card manufacturer. And that being said, I'm going to focus on the actual producers of the card, being that NVIDIA or AMD. I do want to mention that I'm actually supporters of both NVIDIA and AMD. Both actually have really good benefits depending on what you actually need and what you're actually looking for in a graphics card. So first I'm going to start with uh, NVIDIA and actually go through a couple of the top reasons why you may want to lean more towards NVIDIA over the AMD graphics cards. The first thing that comes to mind is something that I actually use and the reason why I run NVIDIA graphics cards and that is Shadowplay. What Shadowplay does is previously when you wanted to do any type of live stream and you had to mainly do it through your uh, GPU if you didn't have a capture or your CPU if you didn't have a capture card and this really put a stress on your system. Your CPU when you're streaming is already high and it's already stressed out so throwing more stress at it wasn't a good option. So what, what uh, NVIDIA does is actually have a hardware encoder in there that you can choose. It works really well with uh, XSplit and a whole bunch of other uh, streaming platform softwares out there. And what this does is it uh, basically takes the stress off your CPU and allows you to game stream pretty seamlessly without any issues. I've actually done this that's why I run NVIDIA graphics cards is because it allows you to do that. It's extremely easy to set up, especially if you're not familiar with setting up uh, live streams and doing any type of streaming, which I personally am not. So it really benefits someone like me who is not really accustomed to doing that. Another uh, benefit of NVIDIA graphics cards is they, they uh, draw less power, less TDP, which is basically power draw with graphics card uh, takes out of the wall. So in theory, you're going to save a little bit each year on your electric bill, depending on how much you actually run your system. If you run your system a lot, especially at high loads, you're going to save a decent amount of money, uh, maybe 10, 15, 20 bucks. But if you accumulate that over a couple years, it kind of benefits you in the long run. And the third thing is actually going to be more for professionals, and that's for CUDA cores, which is beneficial if you're doing any type of uh, mainly video editing. There is some advantages to having CUDA cores which I, AMD graphics cards do not. Personally, that doesn't benefit me or not anything I would look at, but if you're looking to be in the more professional side of things and you're looking for something like that, that is something to keep in mind. Another thing is MFAA, which is multi-frame anti-aliasing. And what this is, is it's just a feature that I personally, you can't see a whole big of a difference, but you do see a little bit. It's just a little bit better anti-aliasing than, uh, than what's out there. And AMD personally doesn't have that right now. And that's mainly the top four reasons why I would go with the NVIDIA side on the graphics cards. Uh, they kind of produce a little bit more performance uh, when they're higher in cards. For example, 980 Ti is a little bit faster than a Fury X um, or a Nano. Not a lot, but it is a little bit faster. And generally, they put out the beefier cards ahead of AMD. So if you're looking for top of the line uh, graphics cards, the highest end, uh, Usually NVIDIA has that out before AMD, and oftentimes they have cards that are way higher than that, like the Titan, the Titan X, things along that time, uh, along that line, Titan Black, that uh, are just overpower what AMD has. So that said, guys, uh, again, I'm not really a I'm not really explaining a sign of NVIDIA or AMD. I just thought I'd throw some benefits out there of what graphics card may actually be up your alley. Thanks everyone for watching, and now I'm going to jump over and do on the AMD side.